It is 8.03. We have to go. So it's 8.03 in the morning. I just got Shannon up. She just got ready. The only person who gets super ready for a surgery. <laughs> I wake up, be like, all right, whatever. Deodorant, I don't freaking care. <laughs> you change your clothes, whatever. <laughs> Because this is how you vlog, isn't it? You film everything. Duh. Even I know this. You ready? Oh, I feel crappy. Let's do this. She is so nervous. Basically I'm nervous. Have to push her, push the button for her, and give her the phone. Danny's nervous too. I am nervous. We are at the surgeon. Say goodbye to these curly yellows. They're <laughs> <clears throat> so pretty. You look excited. <laughs> Do I look excited? Are you look really excited. <laughs> yeah, and it's, these are going to go into your shirt. Look, guys, I keep getting this. This happened last night too. Keep getting this little like rash rosacea thing. Is that normal? Not rosacea, but it looks like rosacea. Very normal. It's normal. People break out in weird hives and stuff all the time when they get rid Okay, what you got? What? Do you have anything to say to anybody? Do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Well, Bulimia did this to me, and it's really pleasant, so I would suggest throwing up 10 times a day for 18 years, and then you'll be lucky enough to come and do this yourself, and you can get surgery, and you can lose all of your teeth, and you can be really, really sick otherwise with your health, and you can not even lose weight so it's totally worth it so I would recommend to everybody out there <laughs> listen guys I'm not gonna tell you to just stop because I know that's impossible but if you're struggling please go get help before it gets this far and if you're thinking about starting don't because once you try it you get hooked and then you end up like this so Love your body for what it is. Take care of your body, be healthy. And don't let this happen to you. And I'll see you on the flip side, if I'm alive. Okay guys, and Shannon, <laughs> you just went out, and she just went out. Um, it's amazing how fast that stuff works. I was. Just in there for a little bit and they put her out and that was it just whomp just gone so um but doctors and everybody seemed super excited they were um you know they were they were <coughs> confident which gives me confidence i hate that <laughs> but i'll be okay um, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab a bunch of stuff for Shannon right now while she's out. Uh, get a bunch of jello, get her a bunch of pudding, and some soup, and her prescriptions and all that jazz. So, yeah. guys in a minute here okay <clears throat> well, I'm driving here I'm gonna give you some thoughts from a husband point of view sorry about the shaky um, I'm gonna be a little rough maybe not rough just as a as a caregiver taker whatever you want to call it 
for somebody who is suffering from this. Um, and this is for everyone else too who is going through this kind of stuff and putting loved ones through this. We are here to support you, but boy, if you can save us from this uh, and save yourself from this, take that option. That's a better option. Because, you know, modern medicine and all this wonderful tech and all of this stuff, procedures and medications and stuff, yeah, they, they can totally help you. But why, why get that far? Why take the risk? Why put yourself and put your family and friends through this? Uh, not worth it. Not worth it at all, guys. So I'm gonna ask you the same as Shannon has in the past to, if you're, I mean, I'm again, we don't say just stop because we know it ain't that easy. Um, so I won't say that right now, forever, because I know it's not that easy. But I think that, uh, sorry, my truck is super loud. I hope you can, I hope you guys can hear this. Um, um, find some help now. Wherever you are in your eating disorder, um, make efforts to, make significant efforts to stop, to slow down even, and help yourself or get some help, whatever the case is there, and just be done with this because, guys, this is not how it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to live your life like this. Um, it's not fair to you guys. You know, it's not fair to anybody. So, you know, make make peace with who you are and how you look and how you eat, how you think. I, I really am a big believer if people are just who they are, if everybody was just who they really are, all this ugliness in the world, people treating each other terrible over stupid stuff, just silly, silly things, you know, looks and, and money and, you know, even health. I mean, it's, it's just getting crazy. It's just a waste of life. It's a waste of time. Let's just be who we are and be cool with who we are. It starts with us. It starts right with you guys, you know. Be cool with who you are. And screw everybody else who's, who, who doesn't think you're cool or think you're beautiful or, you know. They're nobody. Who are they? Do they have a license? Do they have a a, a a badge to say something? I mean, they can say whatever they want, but that how you know? Don't let it affect your life. It's your life, not their lives. Forget them. They have their own life to deal with. And honestly, if they're trying to get into your business about that kind of stuff, then. <coughs> They have no life. You have a life. You know? You have a life. You need to start living it. Don't let it get this far, guys. This is this is a great, great opportunity for Shannon, for Shani. Um, this is her second chance at a great life. And I know she's going to make the most of it. And wherever you are in your progression of your recovery, guys. Make it your second chance right now. You know, it doesn't have to get this far to become a second chance. It doesn't have to become this huge, overwhelming thing. It just doesn't have to be this way. You know, it just has to be straight up. life, you know, just live life how it's supposed to be lived, and that's, that's, that's what this is right now, sorry, I kind of lost a train of thought, hope you guys followed that a little bit, anyway, just some thoughts, Shani's going to be great, she's going to do great, it's going to be a little rough, and I really appreciate you guys' support and everything like that,
keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep following. <coughs> this is going to be good. Alright, see you guys, man. Okay, so... <laughs> we just got out of the dentist and... I don't know if we should show you guys this or not, but we're going to. And it's just pain. It was pain right out of the gate. It is now almost three, and this is the calmest I have ever seen her since then for the last three hours, which is good because for the last three hours she's been in excruciating pain, so much so that her chest and heart started to hurt, so that's why we came in. Dr. Young, do you have a telephone call at the nurse's station? And apparently Dr. Young has a telephone call at the nurse's station, so there's that. Um, they just gave her some Dilaudin and some, what was the other one they gave you? Is, is Dilaudin the anxiety one? Dilaudin's the pain one. So some Dilaudin one and some ex Ativan. <coughs> some Ativan. So that, so that it take the edge off the anxiousness because she was really, really worked up and has not stopped crying since now. So this is good progress. They took an, e an EKG to check on her heart, which seemed okay. There was a question about one part. And that's, they just took her back for an x-ray on her chest to make sure everything's going good there. So yeah, this is a little bit more than we bargained for today, but uh, the good thing is at least she's not in super pain, right? I'm trying not to. Yeah. It's good, don't move. And she's got an IV. And she is sucking that thing down like crazy. It hurts. The IV does? The teeth does? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how swollen she is, guys. Oh, dang. Oh. Gosh dang it. Okay, well, we'll keep you all updated. Hi. This is the best nurse I've ever had. <laughs> she gave me a hug right when I walked in. I was crying and she just hugged me and held me. <laughs> she was the best. Go on her mountain. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Ashley from Inner. Ashley from Inner. Yeah, hospital. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you her because she's awesome. Okay, say bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I think that's a good idea. Cause you have you have to put the amount of cookie uh If we get one more storage shed, if it has heat, 
Then you can set the oven. But don't kick, don't cook the birds. Or pulling. Sleep talking for a couple minutes here. Well, I thought I was just asleep. Mm -hmm. What's filming? Mm -hmm. How's that treating you? Let's try it out. This is your first real bites for the day, people. It's like vanilla pudding mixed with blood. Ooh, that's a good, like blood pudding. Blood pudding. Nice. Really good. Mm. Let's try the soup. Yeah, try some soup. <clears throat> Would you like to explain the delicacy? So today's menu is going to feature um, from Chef Zupa himself. This is a Wisconsin cauliflower cheese soup. It is extremely creamy, no chunks, very nutritious, very delicious, and about the only thing that Shannon can eat. Except she's not very good at it yet. She's still learning her new face. Um, I have to get her a bib. Oh, poor thing. There might be blood in there. Yeah, it's too dark. I can't see anything anyway. Hey. Oh. Come on. Don't smile. No more smiling. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're doing that. Bye, baby. What's your name, little boy? Hero? Hero Mata? Prepare your box. 